So, cheer me up, babe. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> Guess I didn't do one of those in a while, hmm? Oh well, World of Warcraft is one of those evergreens for me, especially the Bath of the Lich King expansion. No matter how many times I played from 1 to 80 and traveled through the frosty plains of Northrend, I always enjoyed the journey. There's something relaxing playing World of Warcraft at this time of the year, be it nostalgia or just weird habit. And as days get shorter and homes get cozier, it is a perfect time to visit Azeroth again. So I was happy to see that Sunwell was about to release their fresh Wrath of the Lich King server Frosthold, as I had a ton of fun on their old Wrath Realm Anchor It provided me and the community with plenty of hours of great entertainment. So how does Frost hold up to these expectations? After making my way to level 80, here are some impressions. The launch itself was amazing. Around 5000 players flooded the gates and there were next to no crashes or delays. The dynamic respawn ensured that a good percentage of the player base was able to progress smoothly. All of this was possible thanks to a big and committed development team working around the clock. There are a lot of different opinions on cash shops out there, but you can't deny the benefit and the resources they provide to make launches like this happen. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here, I will go into more details about the shop later on. As expected, the scripting quality and NPC behavior was pretty much on point throughout my whole journey. Not to say it was perfect, I mean there were a few hiccups like for example the giants in Hellfire Peninsula not splitting into smaller fragments while they are getting lower on HP or some bugged loot tables from rares. And well, whatever this funky siege engine was doing right here. But overall there is really not much you can complain about. None of the issues I've encountered interrupted the leveling flow. The few times my progression came to a halt was because of PvP encounters. Or should I say PvP PvPPP. As a keen observer you might have noticed that I decided to roll alliance this time around and oh boy was I in for a treat. It's a PvP server I know, but holy shit, the faction imbalance creates some very frustrating situations. Because of that, my perceived whore to alliance faction ratio might be a bit worse than the factual one, but my guess is that about 70% of the players are whored. Because of that, Sunwell introduced a free faction change from whore to alliance and a few perks as an incentive to switch sides. They are mostly cosmetical, with providing free transmog tokens upon hitting 80 and things of that nature. The biggest advantage of those perks is a 10% reputation increase. In my opinion those changes are fine and don't give too much of an advantage and I really hope that they will convince even more players to go alliance, as the faction imbalance can be a big problem for servers like this. They are also tinkering with the queue for winter spring and introduced a few changes to the battleground, trying to balance things out a bit. So the team is clearly aware of those issues and I think it is great that they try their best to give every player a great experience. I also should add that because of the huge population, I think right now we are around 4.5 to 4k players, the cities are full of life. The auction house is booming and finding a dungeon or raid group is very easy, even on the alliance side. Finally let's get into some specs about the server itself for those of you who are interested. Frosthold launched on the 16th of November. And as it is a progressive server, content is going to be released on a schedule, starting with an Xramas opening in the next few days, like at the start of December. The server is located in Europe, which is another plus for the population numbers and also arguably it is a bit safer when it comes to cease and desist letters from Blizzard. Ping and latency are low and despite a big population the server is stable and with very little downtimes. Regarding leveling, you start at level 1 and have times 1 gold and drop rates, although I have to say the loot tables again are a bit iffy, like especially grey equipment dropping a bit too often and being suboptimal. But moving on, there are times 3 experience rates from 1 to 68 and times 2 leveling rates from 68 onward with the option to double those rates again through purchasing a boost in the cash shop. Speaking of which, here are some infos about the cash shop. Most important information first, there are no pay to win features, like buying dungeon or raid gear. You can purchase mounts, heirlooms, cosmetics and, as I mentioned before, services like faction changes or experience boosts. 
viewers who followed my channel for a longer time might know my stance on cash ops already, but I'm willing to repeat myself here. I think cash ops like this, like the one on Sunwell, are completely fine, especially if the player base profits heavily from the resources they provide. Like in this case, they can employ a bigger staff, they have more stable servers and they are also improving the scripting quality over time. I'm personally looking very much forward to raiding and spending more time on Frosthold as it combines all of the positive features I'm looking for in a private service. I think if you are looking for a fresh start, you can't really go wrong with Frosthold right now. Give it a try. I'm looking very much forward to playing with you. I would